Biosecurity authorities are trying to find out how a fruit and vegetable rotting disease has managed to break out in Queensland. Farmers are angry the virus has seen a number of properties quarantined in the Bundaberg region. In this greenhouse just outside Bundaberg, a crop of tomatoes is growing. Normally, there'd be cucumbers and zucchinis here too, but farmer Gino Marcon has stopped growing them to avoid a plant disease called cucumber green mottle mosaic virus. We're a bit worried that the, the disease may affect our zucchini production, so we've switched over to 100% tomato production in our greenhouses. It's not harmful to humans, but causes discoloration and internal rot in some plants from the cucurbit family. It's a very serious problem and a very significant disease in, in, cucur in cucurbits and particularly in melon. Five commercial properties in the Bundaberg region owned by two growers have recently been quarantined. We've lost confidence in, in the system and, and that's the biosecurity system. We think it's it's not broken, it's just shredded to bits, it's simply not working. There have been previous outbreaks of the virus in the Northern Territory in Western Australia and an isolated case west of Townsville in 2015. Authorities are unsure how the latest outbreak started, but some growers suspect infected seeds being brought in. The main culprit seems to be in seed, or well, the main train of thought seems to be in seeds. It's highly unlikely that we'll ever be able to pinpoint exactly uh, how it got introduced. In 2014, the Federal Agriculture Department introduced emergency measures to try and stop the virus spreading in Australia. One was mandatory seed testing, sampling about 20% of imported product. Biosecurity authorities reject allegations the system has failed. We have managed to uh, restrict the disease um, to a very small number of properties in Queensland. There's no time frame on when farm quarantine restrictions will be lifted. Jonathan Hare, ABC News.